Adobe Acrobat is a great tool for being able to make a presentation for or out of your PDFs rather. So I want to show you an example of a file that I have that I've uh, added what's called full screen mode as well as some other little features and I'll show you that. So I'm going to open this up. Typically when you open up a, an Acrobat file, a PDF, uh, that's going to go into full screen mode which is sort of like if you know what it is, you know what it is. But if you don't, uh, like PowerPoint or something like that, trying to go into full screen presentation mode, it's going to show up this dialog box. Now, most of us will not be able to get rid of this, okay? Meaning if you send it to somebody else, it's just a security issue. It's something that, anyway, they decided to show. Um, there is a way to get rid of it, but honestly, it's not easy. It's not something you want to do if you're going to send this out to, you know, a bunch of people. So, all right, I'll click yes. Now, I want, to, I want you to notice something here. Typically, when you go into this full screen mode for Acrobat, it doesn't auto run. Um, the transitions between pages are typically different. The page color back here, the background color is usually black. But instead of just simply putting it into full screen mode, we can do things like hide the cursor, have escape key exit, you know, do transitions, time delays, you know, background color, things like that. That's what I want to show you. So I'm going to hit escape. Now, just as a heads up, typically what some of us will do is we'll put a button on the page that says like, you know, exit full screen or a link or something simple to make it so people can exit. Most people know to press escape to get out of it. So anyway, so here's what we do. Simple. I'm going to keep it as simple as I can here because it just, it makes more sense to be honest, rather than going really complicated. So when you open up a PDF file in Acrobat, if I come under File, you'll see Properties. Now, we can do this in just about every version of Acrobat. It doesn't really matter what you guys have. Sometimes you'll see Document Properties in older versions of Acrobat. On the Initial View setting here, the Initial View tab, we'll see an option for Open in Full Screen Mode. I'll simply select that, and we're done. So I'll click OK. I'll save the file, and I'll just call it B, something like that. Now, to test it out, we need to close it and reopen it. So I'll close it up. There it is in my open recent file, and you'll see. Let's open it up full screen mode. I'll click yes, and you'll notice the default settings typically for running full screen mode. So you see black. Cursor does disappear. It doesn't move. There's no time delay, no timer, no looping, nothing like that. So let's fix that. So this is great because if I hit escape here, we get out. We can make it so that we set up the, the preferences for how it views for someone else. This can be for anybody that opens this, which is really awesome. So here's what we do. We're going to add a little JavaScript. It's really simple. Once you learn it, it's not that bad. If I go to the Tools section over here, you're going to see that we don't have the panel we need. Okay, The panel we need is located right up here in Acrobat 10. You'll see something called JavaScript. If I click on that, I'll see what I need. Now, typically, if you guys are in previous versions of Acrobat 9, 8, 7, whatever, you can go up, and I'm, I'm forgetting very quickly how the, those previous versions, but if you go up to like... Uh, what is it, tools or advanced or something like that up, up over here in the menus. You can go down and you'll see like uh, document processes settings, something like that. Just find, you're going to look for what's called document JavaScripts. Find that. Okay. So I'll click on that. And what we can do is we can add a little script that controls the preferences for, for, for full screen. Now, what I'm talking about by preferences is this. Let me close this. If you go up to edit, and go to Preferences, or on Mac, if you go to Acrobat in the corner and go to Preferences, you'll see that we have full screen preferences right over here somewhere. So there's the full screen preferences. And you'll see things like Escape Key Exit, Show a Nav Bar, Left Click, Loop, Advance, Background Color, Mouse Hidden, Transitions. These are the things that we can set for our presentation. But the problem is, if you set these, you're like, ah, oh, cool, Loop, Advance, whatever. This is only for your version of Acrobat. It's not going to do anything to the PDF file once you send it to someone else. It's still going to be their default settings. So we're going to use a little JavaScript just to change those. So I'll click Cancel. So like I said, find the document JavaScripts up in the menus or in Acrobat 10. Come over to the right. We're going to name this thing something. So I'll just call it FS, let's say, for full screen. Click Add. Now, get rid of this crap in here. We don't need that. <laughs> And what we're going to do is we're going to add some things that we can use to control. Most of these start like this. We're just going to add little lines of code here that make it really simple to control the full screen. So you see a lot of these little commands start with app.fs. So that's literally saying, okay, let's go to the application. Let's 
address or edit or do something to full screen, and then we tell it what we're going to affect. So for instance, if we want to do background color, and you guys do the upper lower case like I'm doing here, you'll see background color equals, and then, you know, sometimes you'll see stuff like this. There are a lot of ways to write this, and I'll show you where you can find out other ways, but typically if I want to type in the name of a color, which is really generic, you don't know what red is, right? It could be that beet red, whatever. We can do that. All right. Now there's a lot of other stuff we can do. I'll press enter or return. And every time we want to do something to the preferences, we add another line. So I'll say fs dot use timer. So use timer means we can actually set up a time and say, I want you to advance every so often. Now, how often? Well, we need to set that. So I'll say app dot fs dot time delay equals, and we can give it a number of seconds. So we're saying, yes, use a timer, and here's the time delay. Here's how long it's going to take to go from one page to another. We can also tell it to loop. So I'll say fs.loop equals, and it's what's called Boolean. You can say true or false. We can give it uh, an escape key. So I can say app.fs.escape exits. There we go. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Exits. True, false. Semicolon ends it and says stop that different property or whatever you're doing. We can address the cursor. You don't have to do all these, you guys. You can do just one. You can do all of them. It doesn't matter. Cursor. And there's a bunch of these. There's hidden. There's others. And I'll show you where you can find those. We can also set up the transitions. So I can say default transition. And this is something you guys can set these up in Acrobat yourself. Or we can use this script to do it. It's, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter. And I'll put a quote here. And it's kind of weird, but I'll put quotes. And we can do one of like I don't know, 40 or 50. It's insane. I mean, we've got cover up, cover right up, fly in left, glitter down, blinds verticals, you know, all sorts of stuff we can do. I'm going to say like I did before, uncover down. I think I got that spelled right. There we go. So one thing you'll find is if you misspell anything, it's going to break. You'll find out pretty quickly. So I think I've got everything looking good. This isn't all of them. This is most of them, but I'm going to click OK now. There it is. We're done. I'm going to close it. That's all we need to do. Now, document JavaScripts will, will run with the document. As soon as the document basically is open and it's read and everything happens, it's going to set these settings. So I'm going to save the file, and I'll just overwrite the old one, as I usually do. I'll close it, open it up again. Yes, we're going to full screen mode. And there we go. So you guys can see, we're eventually going to have the color. Our cursor will disappear. We've got that type of transition. We've got a timer going every three seconds. Uh, once it gets to the end, we can loop it. I can hit escape to exit, and there we go. That is a that's that's the way to do it, you guys. <laughs> that really is. So, but I do want to show you if you want to learn more. If you go up to help, we can go to Acrobat 10 Pro Help or whatever help you guys are in. And what we can do is do a search, and search for um, let's say JavaScript. I think this will do it. And we'll say this reference only. And I'll search. Hopefully this comes up with what I want. And of course it doesn't. I gotta be honest, I hate how they do this, but that's fine. Um, so we're gonna see right here, we've got JavaScript, about JavaScript and Acrobat, Acrobat Pro, JavaScript was created. Um, anyway, this isn't really doing it for me, guys, sorry. So uh, if I click on any, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to JavaScript for Acrobat. So if I look right here, I can see JavaScript for Acrobat. Let me take a look at that and see what we get. It's probably not going to give me. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, so this will take me into the Developer Center. What you guys can do is you can follow. There's actually a PDF up here, um, JavaScript for Acrobat API. I know it says version 8, but whatever, that's fine. It's going to open it up for me, and I believe this is the correct PDF to look at. And what we can do here is if I look at API, here we go. You'll see on the left over here, see all the stuff we can work with. Now, down here, you'll find full screen. If I open this up and look here, you'll see all the different properties we can set. So you can see if I click on background color and zoom in over here, let me zoom in a bit, it's going to say, here's how it works. It's an array. App.fs.backgroundcolor equals color dot, and you can set colors. There's different things you can do, click advances, cursors, etc. Typically, you guys, if you see something like it says click advances, that literally is what you type in to app.fs.clickadvances in that upper lowercase, 
And if it says Boolean, that just means true or false typically. So we've got loop. And we can also use JavaScript to say, you know, is full screen. So you can say true or false. App.fs is full screen dot equals true, et cetera. So anyway, this is just how you guys can can take your, your PDFs to the next level and be able to go into to full screen, kind of work with them, and make them look a little bit better than what you could before. <laughs>